Actually, about 89 is when we started having fish raised up here through the EMA program. It's a great way to engage with, you know, we got guys here that are they're doing their time and, and giving back to society, but there's a lot that goes into that for their, their rehab and their personal growth, and I think it's a great opportunity. We have one AIC that helps ODF and W out here. He actually works for ODF, and our sister agency, ODF and W, runs the rearing facility here. They're kind of our subject matter experts, and they train the AICs on feeding the fish, taking care of the fish, and then, like today, we're releasing the fish. I take care of the, the, the fish from the <laughs> feed them. I clean the pan. I take uh, their weights, measurements, uh, make sure they're healthy. It was all new for me. The, the rearing process is interesting. I'm an outdoorsman, and so yeah. I enjoy it. It's interesting. It's, yeah. 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 These guys are going to go back in the community and you know we want well-rounded people to have things to look forward to and this gives you know a lot of responsibility in doing this and what this provides to the community i think everybody here understands how important it is and they put a lot of pride in what they do so when they come back into the community they carry that pride with them and they carry some work experience that's going to get them along further in life the aic's when they leave here are a lot of them are changed because they've learned a skill. They're learning skills from good people in forestry, and the people that work for me and the, and the corrections people. They are going to be much more ready to be introduced in society and they're going to be better members of the public. And I think our numbers kind of speak to that. You know, there is a, a lot lower recidivism rate right, if they've been in this program for ODF for two years. It's about half of what it is uh, for the state of Oregon on, on a whole. If they can tell their families, hey, look, look what I'm doing out here. I've got a job, I'm on a crew, I'm part of a team. That is something that they can show their, their parents, their loved ones, that really shows that they're, they're trying to change their lives. You know, our initial releases were right around 100,000 Spring Chinook. Um, I think at the moment, we're probably looking at around 3.5 million fish or so that have been released out of this facility over the years. These particular fish are you know, wild parentage, so we're preserving that genetic component too as best we can. So these carry a lot of those wild genes and we don't know what the future holds and it's important to preserve that as best we can. These hatcheries are super important and so having these hatchery programs which have gone back many, many years, back in the turn of the century they were doing this stuff. It really helps supplement that wild salmon population. 190, 120. So I think it's super important. You know, you have recreational fishermen, you have commercial fishermen out in the ocean, and then you have animals that depend on this. And just that natural balance 